Welcome to the vlog. Hi. Oh yeah, it's a new uh, new vlog. It's a new vlog because it's uh, Saturday. So um, we're at our venue for today, which is a rustic barn mm -hmm. for the 50th anniversary of our local uh, animal shelter I where we got that. Bowie. I didn't even realize that it was 50 years. It's a big it's so party. Cool. It's a blue jean ball, which means wear your blue jeans. And yes. You have your blue jean dress on. That's right. Kristen is coming. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's going to be a nice afternoon, hopefully. I think so. It looks like the weather will not rain. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> <laughs> they have food, they have music, they have prizes, they have... Uh, it's a celebration. They have a few vendors. I think they only had, what, about five vendors? Yeah, it's not too many. But yeah. it's going to be really fun. It is going to be a lot of fun. DJ's going to be playing some tunes. Okay. DJ and live music, I think. Mm -hmm. So that's fun. We'll check back in, hopefully, if we remember to. <laughs> Sometimes it gets a little, uh, yeah, gets a little crazy, but we'll see. All right, we've time traveled ahead about uh, 24 hours. Oh, hello. <laughs> so how was the market? It was fun. It was a lot of fun. There was a little bit of rain, but it was okay. Honestly, the rain felt a little refreshing. Uh, it made everything feel gross, though. Well, yeah, that was not fun. But it felt good on my skin. I didn't get rained on, but I felt like my clothes were wet. It was just damp. It was but damp, yeah. I liked the vibe of the event. We mm -hmm. got to see some doggies. We met a lot of really cool people. Yeah. These, like, shelter events, you always meet the best people because it's all, like, animal lovers mm -hmm. showing up. So that was a lot of fun. Including us. <laughs> Plus, Chris and her mans were there, so yes. we had fun. Yes, and we got cool sweatshirts. Yes, we did. To support the animal shelter. Yeah. And uh, hey, it was close by. Yeah, I mean, it was like 10 minutes away. So yeah. it's always nice when the event's like really close by. Right, because some of our events aren't so close. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to do our market breakdown in our next crochet video. Which should be out midweek. Sometime this week, yeah. Yeah. This so. one's coming out on Monday. Oh. This one goes to 11. Yes. <laughs> so we're um, just waiting 15 more minutes, and then we're going to get in the car and go to see the last musical. Sean, what show are we seeing today? Rock Ages. Rock Ages. <laughs> and then what's the last show? Hint to God. Right, uh, hand to God. I didn't read the synopsis on that yet. I think I will. I read the little blurb uh, on the website, but I didn't like look at Wikipedia for the actual. Right. Like I don't want to. Oh, look who's here! I want to watch it unfold, but the little blurb sounded really funny. Oh, good. Oh, it's a comedy. Yes. It's a little princess. Hi, little lamb. Is it a one-man show or? No. Okay. They already put the cast out on Instagram. Remember. Oh, right, 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 right. Zaddy's in it. Yeah. <laughs> you want to pet Lammy? You love Lammy? Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> Lammy said, run, run, run. Yeah. So, the litter box saga, I'll give you an update. She freaking loves it. Yeah. She absolutely loves to go in there. She loves to wait the five minutes to see it clean itself. <laughs> And then she comes back down here. She actually used the litter box when I was up there with her the other day, which like is unusual for her. She usually she likes usually to doesn't like anybody in the room when she uses the litter box. Yeah, so I was like, "What are you doing? Like, what's happening?" And I was like, "Oh my god, she must really like this litter box." Yeah, it's good. I feel good because number one, I don't have to scoop it. <laughs> number two, I don't have to scoop it. <laughs> And number three, she gets a fresh, clean, leveled litter pile every time she goes to use it. So, I mean, I know I would feel bad going to the bathroom in a dirty bathroom. You, you don't go on top of the cloud. <laughs> yeah. So, so, like, you know. She's Princess Lamb now. Unless you follow your cat around and scoop out the litter box every single time they go. And if there's people out there that do that, you're better than I am. But I don't do that. I usually wait a day or two and scoop it. So I feel better now that she's going in a clean box. Mm -hmm. And it does a great job. Yeah. 
It definitely does. I just love the reports. <laughs> I know, and I have an app on my phone that is like, Lammy entered the box at like 11.30, <laughs> spent 46 seconds in there, and then left. And it says her weight, too. And then uh, it says cleaning cycle completed like five minutes later. So I get a report every time she enters the box, every time it's cleaned. I get uh, a warning or, you know, like a, you need to empty the bucket underneath with the, uh, the used litter in it. Or the litter has gone below a certain level. You need to fill it up a little bit. So that is fantastic because her litter box is upstairs. And we almost never go upstairs. Well, not just like to hang out. No, we don't. Sometimes there's days when I don't even go up there. Mm -hmm. So it's nice to know, you know, okay, God forbid she has some sort of a medical thing where um, she's got like a urinary blockage or something or, you know, she's got like mad diarrhea or whatever. I will know from the reports. <laughs> The that result. something is wrong. Yeah. You know? So it's a good it's peace of mind. It's peace of not it peace of mind because I know when she's going a normal amount. I can monitor her weight without actually pulling out the scale and weighing her. I feel like we have to acknowledge though, this is very expensive. So it's like, very expensive but you're very lucky to have this. I am very lucky to have this. But I did buy it with my own money. I didn't yeah. this was not sponsored or anything like that. And I have been waiting a very long time to get one. At least 15 years. Well, you know what? They didn't have them when I first had cats. And uh, then when Kristen had cats, they started coming out with them. Oh, they had it that long ago? Yeah, they had it that long. They, they didn't have the fancy, fancy right. ones with the app. But they did have automatic litter boxes. Some of them... Um, might not have had like sensors in the beginning you know mm -hmm. but it like was on a cleaning schedule where you know it, you could set it to clean like four times a day or two yeah. times a day or you know some of them I'm, I would assume were probably even like I manual like shape. okay clean this shape. you know and then you push the button on the machine and it like rakes the the cat litter but I mean because they're up to like litter robot four plus now I think oh, oh. So, I waited a long time for this because I was going to splurge, like I said in, in, yes, in um, last week's video. I think I said I was going to splurge and then something came up and it didn't happen. Or Mark told me I was crazy or because <laughs> he didn't scoop the box. <laughs> it, whoever scoops the box is entitled to say, I need this because it's, not, it's a thankless job. Yeah. But I'm very... Um, honored to have one because it really seems to be that the benefits outweigh the minuses the, you know the negatives so just you know in case you were interested in getting one it is expensive but it does work very well breakfast time here's my Hello. best friend Hi, handsome. <laughs> Hi, I just got here. You just it's showed a, up oh for God, work. It's almost 10.30 already. I know. I have so much to catch <laughs> up on today. Stop barking. You're going to get to lick. Just stop. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> we are having our breakfast sandwiches that mom made, and they are insanity. Look at this. Oh, my God. The organic flat... <laughs> <laughs> Just so you can really see it, it focuses in. The organic flour that I use to make these um, bagels is insane. It tastes like New York pretzels. I know. The bread itself is like, holy crap. But then look at how the cheese is like in there. And the everything but the bagel <gasps> seasoning on the inside. Ma'am, what have you done? <laughs> I've spoiled you. That's what I've done. Yeah. I've spoiled you rotten. Enjoy. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> when I have breakfast at home on the weekends, I'm like... Oh, I could really go for an egg Sammy right now. <laughs> By the way, it's not real eggs. No, it's um, vegan. It's Jan eggs, of course. My mung bean uh, mixture. It's so good, Bobby. I know. But it's delicious, and it's much healthier than the just egg one because I, I did, yeah, and much cheaper, like pennies on the dollar. 
I don't put any oil or anything. You don't need it. Any stabilizers or anything. It's just water, mung beans, <coughs> turmeric, and salt, and uh, <coughs> Himalayan salt. Okay, you're gonna have some. Just relax. Bubby. All right, I gotta go because he's off the chain here. <laughs> I could watch you scratch his ears all day long. He said, I'm here for it, baby. Yeah, he would love it all day long. He would just be one gigantic man. He well, would be one pile of drool. Well, let me stop. But, Look, uh... do more! <laughs> Bowie! Dad, keep doing it. I love it. What are you doing? My dad's oh, giving me attention. <laughs> See if he wants more. More! <laughs> <laughs> All right. You just did a monster live stream. I did. It was wonderful. Thank you. I heard every word of it. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Daddy and I both listened to Maybe it. Maybe too many words. No, it was fine. More than words. <laughs> Can you tell we saw Rock of Ages yesterday? <laughs> no. <laughs> Which was such a fun show. It was amazing. Plus, it had one of our favorite actors from last yes, year. Yes, Jacob. Yes. So, He's so good. We did not know that he was going to be in the show yesterday, and he was the first one to come out. He was like the narrator guy. Yeah. Uh, if, you, if you're familiar with the show, he played Lonnie, and he came in from the back of the theater. Yes. So we just heard his voice first, and we were just like, <gasps> and I wanted to yes. lean over and be like, <laughs> But I didn't want to like be alive I know, in the, I know. Everybody. But I was waiting until this the intermission to tell you guys like that's our guy. I know. <laughs> but he it was so fun. Was amazing. Yeah. As he always is. And we were also introduced to some new favorites as well. Oh yeah. They've been doing this this summer where they've been getting a lot of people from the touring productions of yes. these shows. So like these people are in the roles. <laughs> like yes, they know they the know roles. It through and through they so. know it inside and out and they get up there and they just add so much yeah. because like jacob improvised so much yeah he's a really it just good added so much to the show yeah and the guy that played stacy was like oh amazing insane. <laughs> every amazing. little mannerism yes was on point and when you're oh, only wearing so a speedo <laughs> when to ask the tracks <laughs> you you've got to really sell it yeah. And he cer he certainly did. Yeah, everybody was great. And like the ensemble cast, like everybody was amazing. Yeah, so it was a great show. And I didn't realize how funny it was going to be. It was hilarious. Yeah. It was well, hilarious. It was a love story. It, it was sad. It was joyous. Yeah. It was everything. Pretty. Something for everybody, right, Dad? Yeah. <laughs> Is somebody going to scratch your ears now? <laughs> <laughs> you got your uh, scalp massager. Yeah. Here. Look at Bowie now. He's falling oh, asleep. Baby. Sitting up on Good against boy. the uh, ottoman there. Sean, can you pet Bowie? Give him a pet. Oh, yeah. Oh, he, he loves, loves it. it. <laughs> All right. Well, we have we got some very happy mail. We did. For, for this a special little girl. Kitty. Hi, Lammy. Lammy Lammy got mail. Good girl. Aww. She said, I'm a princess. <laughs> I have my own spaceship. <laughs> she certainly does, and she loves it. Yes, so Lammy got a wonderful gift from Carrie. Yes, would you like to read the, the yes. insert? Carrie, my heart dropped when I first read your note. I know, And then I was like, same. oh, it's okay. Because Carrie said, I lost my cat recently, but by that I mean she went to live with my son. So I was like, <gasps> Thank goodness. okay, <laughs> it's all good. Uh, and Carrie said, I miss her. She adored Lil Soup's tuna in tuna broth. And in her honor, I send a gift to Lammy from Carrie. That's, that's so sweet. that's Lammy's favorite, too. Yes. Carrie, thank that you so, so much. I was so surprised to go to the post office. And I got the little key in the mm -hmm. pigeonhole. And I took it out. And I was like, oh, this is for Lammy. So sweet. And I totally know what you mean because... I remember when Chris moved out and she took her cats with oh, her. Oh, and Sean had a meltdown? Yeah. Well, it's hard for all of us yeah. to not have them in the house anymore. And, like, you know they're okay, but it's not the same as, like, having yeah. them living with you. So, mm -hmm. it's hard, but... It, yeah. yeah, it was a lot. And Sean uh, did not handle it very well, I must say. No, he did uh. not. <laughs> <laughs> so... He did not. Um, 
But now he, you know, he still gets to see homie, so. Well, he was so thrilled that we got Lammy. Oh, yeah. He loves Lammy. Because he was waiting for a long time for a cat like her yeah. I mean, to come he into loves, his life. He loves dogs, but he definitely, like, is a cat person. He's more of a cat person yeah. than a dog person. He's all about Garfield and friends. <laughs> Do you think it's because cats don't speak as much as dogs? I don't know. It could be, like, the whole attitude. I don't know. I don't know. But we are so appreciative. Thank you Thank so you, much, Carrie. Carrie. Really appreciate it. And, of course, Lammy does. She just loves her little soups. Little soups. Aw, little soup. She's like, I'm very tired right now. Yeah. I'm on my 23rd hour of naps. Oh. Oh. She said, what? Lamb. <laughs> Where are you going? Oh, oh stretch. So oh, I was just girl. adjusting. Yeah. <laughs> she said, I have to turn the other way and get some, some warmth on my other yes. side. On my outer region. Yeah. All right. So we have one birthday shout out. Okay. Uh, and that is so for... Went... Now, now, I have to, now I don't have to check. I remember now. It's Stacy Jones. Oh, Stacy! Happy birthday. On Thursday. Wonderful. The same day as my doctor's appointment. Oh. Happy birthday, Stacy! Hope you're living your best day, week, month, year, lifetime of birthday happiness. Yes. Hopefully I'll get uh, some of that birthday luck. Yeah, I hope and so. And get some good news at my doctor's appointment. That'd be nice. I just made a, a million more appointments today. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens when you get old. Yeah. You just go to doctor's appointments. And, and food shopping. <laughs> well, that's life. <laughs> so, yeah, exactly. <laughs> On Take that it note, away. thank you everyone so much for watching. We hope you have a wonderful week this week. And until next time, Not much love. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you.